For more than 20 years, Tom Mix, seen here with Tony, his wonder horse, brought entertainment and inspiration to young America. Few screen stars have achieved popularity so great. Few men in any walk of life have been more universally mourned than he when death closed his career. He was more than just an actor. He was also the friend and counselor of every boy who saw his pictures or heard his radio program. For always he taught a down-to-earth code of living based on courage, honesty, and fair play. January 6, 1880 to October 12, 1940, in memory of Tom Mix, whose spirit left his body on this spot and whose characterization and portrayals in life served to better fix memories of the Old West in the minds of living men. Here we are at Tom Mix's memorial. Tom Mix was an iconic cowboy actor who was popular from 1909 to 1935. He passed away in 1940 right along this road here between Oracle and Florence, Arizona. He was one of the biggest actors and one of the first movie stars of his kind back in the day. And what happened was he was driving and there was construction coming up and he tried to brake and he couldn't brake his car fast enough. I don't know if the brakes went out in his cord or, or what happened, but Eyewitnesses said they saw him actually standing up onto the brakes, you know, on his, in his convertible trying to stop the car. And I guess a, a suitcase flew forward, hit him in the head, broke his neck, and killed him, um, which was a real bummer. But uh, he was an icon, and uh, this is where he died. Tom Mix. Get that stogie, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Did you get it? No? It's too, too windy. Good here, good here. Too damn windy. Good here. <laughs> Try a little bit. <laughs> Let's try again. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it tastes so good. Oh, fucker. <laughs> Did you try to do it once? One didn't even go. Oh. Here we are having a cigar in honor of Tom Mix. Here's a look at the handsome young man. An icon in his day. And here's a, looks like a newspaper article chronicling the end of a legend. The shot of him on his motorbike. He looks more like a Civil War general than a cowboy. He <laughs> does, <laughs> he got that, that military look. I'm Very a, handsome young actor. Emma and I are celebrating with a classic stogie that we lit with matches. And we had yeah. a hell of a time lighting them. In the name of Tom Mix, my boy. Good man. And here's that beautiful Arizona Florence Oracle sunset. Gorgeous. Tom Mix. Tom Mix. Good man. You ever see any of his movies? No. Me neither. We'll change that. We'll watch some clips. Yeah. <laughs> of Tom Mix, you see him here with his wife Victoria Ford, was punctuated by adventures as thrilling as those of any fictitious character he ever portrayed. During the Cuban campaign of the Spanish-American War, he served as a scout of Colonel Theodore Roosevelt. Severely wounded there, he was later transferred to the Philippines, where he participated in the Luzon campaign. He was present at the Siege of Peking during the Boxer Rebellion. And as a non-combatant horse wrangler, he witnessed the final battles of the Boer War in South Africa. 
Returning to the United States, he became successively a cowboy in Texas and Oklahoma and a professional peace officer. He served as sheriff of Montgomery County, Kansas, Washington County, Oklahoma, and two Buttes County, Colorado. He was a United States Marshal in Montana, New Mexico, and Arizona. And as a Texas Ranger, was twice wounded in gunfights with bandits and rustlers. In 1909, Mix made his debut in the entertainment world with a famous Wild West show of the Miller Brothers' 101 Ranch. And between seasons, accepted a contract offered by Colonel Selig, the pioneer movie producer, to star in a series of Western pictures. A contract which he soon threw overboard in order to join Madero's rebels in the Mexican Revolution of 1910. That adventure proved to be as unprofitable as the election wager you see Tom Kennedy collecting in this scene. Wounded again, Tom Mix stayed in Mexico long enough to witness the capture of Juarez, then returned to Hollywood and an amazing success. Within two years, he was a screen idol. By the way, the young lady in his arms is his daughter, Thomasina. And the orchestra leader with whom he's clowning it up in this offstage shot is your old pal, Ted Lewis. No one who knew Tom Nix could have taken this gag seriously for a single moment. Tom had many remarkable abilities, but he was never any good at blowing his own horn. From his earliest days in Hollywood, you see him here in a long-ago picture with Sally Blaine, to the time of his death, Tom Mix endeared himself to everyone who knew him. Today, his footprints, with those of Tony, occupy a place of honor in the famous forecourt of Brahman's Chinese Theater. To the tourist who visits Hollywood, they bring back memories of a favorite entertainer. To Hollywood, they bring back memories of a well-loved friend. <laughs>